Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video I'm going to unbox and review this hideous piece of <laughs> Okay, so this is the Hot Toys MMS 595 Batman Begins 2.0 and I used 2.0 very very loosely from uh, Batman Begins. One of the best comic book movies out there, one of the best Batman movies out there in my opinion. Um, this should have been good, but they really, really, um, yeah, they dropped the ball on this one for multiple different reasons. I think this is the worst figure that Hot Toys put out in 2022. I thought that before I got in hand, and now having it in hand, uh, yeah, it's confirmed that I still think the exact same thing. You might be thinking, why did I buy it? I'll get to that. Anyway, so this is the box, just your standard six scale box. Um, I've slipped off the slip cover there, and on the right then you just have your standard, I suppose, six scale uh, Hot Toys box with uh, the window. And just taking a look in, you can see the figure then, you see the mouth plates and a bunch of accessories and stuff like that. Um, just off the top of my head, some of the terrible things about this are the cowl. Uh, if you were lucky enough to get the first batch, the actual suit was glossy and not matte. I was fortunate enough to get a uh, matte finish one because I asked Lion Rock Toys who I bought this off specifically could they check if it was matte because I want to take this, uh, remove the cowl, remove the cape and basically customize it. This particular uh, look for this, the first night outlook, is the actual best look out of the box in my opinion. The head scuff Christian Bale is fantastic. I think it's actually the same one as the DX19. The harness looks good. There's two belts actually, this one and then the one that's uh, not on him at the moment which has more accessories and different parts and stuff like that. So what's the come with? I want to show you everything it comes. It comes your standard uh, base there with the Batman Begins logo on it. Don't particularly like that. Wouldn't use it anyway. That's just personal preference. The cape, which is awful. It's too thick. It doesn't drape right. And the, the wire is actually a hindrance more than a help. Uh, you can see there on the plastic, there's a two little uh, met, um, triangular parts, which are actually in the wrong part of the suit as well. It's not screen accurate. You've got uh, a grenade, a bunch of swap out hands, two batarangs, and then the second belt. Nice touch as well, because otherwise you have to remove all those little parts and put them on, you know, so it's grand as two belts, so that's nice. Uh, the mouth plates, which um, are questionable, but then again, Christian Bale did make some funny faces in the cow, probably due to the fact that um, I remember reading or hearing that he couldn't really breathe properly through the nose, so he was taking panic breaths through his mouth, and it kind of led to these uh, strange faces. So that's kind of, Hot Toys did their job good there, I suppose, but strange the way they chose some of these uh, faces. They're not the greatest mouth plates. I do think the DX19 is a phenomenal figure. Um, yeah, but uh, this is, it's, it's just not it. This is the weakest part of this whole figure. It's completely inaccurate. The cowl was imposing in Batman Begins. If you compare this to any screenshots from um, the suit in Batman Begins or any decent custom cowls like the Jackson Shoe one that's due to come out or the OT Customs, the neck is too long. If you look at the distance between the bottom of the chin and the bottom of the cowl here, it's simply too long. It makes it look like a pigeon. This is the worst part of it. Um, yeah, so this cowl, uh, I, I'm never going to display it with this. I displayed it for the sake of the video, but I, I just, it just doesn't look good, unfortunately. It might sound like I'm nitpicking, but you put this next to uh, a decent custom cowl, or like I said, an image from Batman Begins, and you see why. Now, I try to make an effort. Shout out to Ian. That's a... Uh, Ancient Silver Fox who provided this base for me. After seeing Dean Knight, I said I wouldn't do but after seeing Dean Knight kitbash his Batman Begins, which looks stunning, I think he went OT Customs for the cowl and cape. I personally have ordered a Jackson Shoe custom cowl, uh, which I'm going to obviously swap out for instead of this one that's here. And uh, I got an OT Customs cape. I, I saw Dean Knight pose this particular Batman, or his, well, sorry, his particular custom or kitbash Batman with this particular base which is from a Spider-Man 3 figure I believe I was looking for it but um Ian actually tracked it down and sent it over to me I really do appreciate that that cowl is awful it looks goofy and this suit did not look goofy in the movie it looked physically imposing obviously I cannot recommend this figure I think it's awful again I thought it was the worst figure of 2022 before I got in hand and I think it is um yeah, now not having it in hand, I, I, I know it was one of the worst figures in 2022. I was just pointing out there the distance between the um, the chin and the, the bottom of the cowl. And also that those two triangular pieces there, they're far too high. They're supposed to be down lower, again, if you compare it to screenshots. If you look at the bunching here as well, there is a wire in it, but it's more of a hindrance. It doesn't drape well. The cape is too thick. It doesn't drape well, and it should drape well. So in conclusion, 
this figure is awful. If you want to get this figure purely for the body, ensure it's a second batch or onwards so it's matte. If you want to, you know, kit bash or custom, we shouldn't have to do that. It's not good enough, but I just love this particular cow, this particular uh, movie, so I want to get this suit right. Okay, folks, that's the end of the video. Before I finish up this video, I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive shout out to Lion Rock Toys. They're the Hong Kong based reseller that sold me this particular figure. They have a user friendly website, free worldwide shipping, and um, they've yeah, great customer service. Full disclosure, uh, they did give me a very competitive price to review this figure, and to be honest, me thinking in hand that it was the worst figure of 2022 and now knowing in hand that it is the worst figure of 2022 um yeah it was a very very competitive price especially when i explained to them that i wanted to take it apart and basically swap out the cowl and cape so yeah i would not recommend this particular figure but i would recommend line rock toys they've never steered me wrong so that's the end of the video if you want to support the channel please like the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment uh, let me know if you're picking this one up or not let me know if you have and already swapped out the cowl and cape you can also follow me on instagram and on X, that's it. That's the end of the video. See you in the next one. Good luck.